in this video i am talking about peoplelink interactive display we are now offering 4k smart interactive display which comes in three different variants that is 65 75 and 86 inches we are offering full range led multi touch display designed for multi purpose usage for all types of industry let's look at this smart device this is peoplelink 75 inch 20 touch 4k interactive display has dual mode uh, operating system android and windows android is inbuilt os and uh, for windows uh, it supports ops which comes in i3 and i5 processor it has three hdmi inputs and uh, touch usb and one hdmi output this is uh, android version 8 here we have two different navigators on the both side In the settings, uh, we have a basic settings option where you can connect your internet, uh, Wi-Fi, or hotspot. Uh, then uh, we have a date and time settings. Uh, then we have system settings. Then we have control settings and power settings are there. And then we have a uh, system information. Next, we have a uh, source. Uh, here you can change the source. If you're connecting any uh, other devices, and there is a source settings option. Next, we have uh, some unique features uh, we are offering, uh, like a screenshot. In, in screenshot, you can take partial screenshot or full screenshot. Or uh, also, you can move wherever you want. Click on save; it will be saved in your local folder. Next, we have spotlight feature. This can be spotted on any surface. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can click on exit to come on the home screen. After that, we have a simple feature like a calculator. Next, we have countdown timer. You can just play it, and you can add and close it. After that, we have log option. Then we have important one as a voting option. You can give your question. And you can select multiple choice or a single choice. Then release it. After releasing, a QR code will be generated. the users can scan and vote so this will be the result click on exit or if you want to save it you can save it. then we have a cleaning option which you can clean the cache of the system then we have background running app button from here you can select uh, if you want to delete any uh, background app or if you want to continue using the background app by simply clicking on cross icons then we have home button wherever on whichever interface you are in you can simply click on the home button to come on the dashboard next we have a annotation icon you can annotate on any surface irrespective of you are in any place and you can save this in your local folder on the dashboard we have whiteboard application and folder option in folder icon you can access to all your saved files in application icon uh, you have some quick apps available from which you can access easily next we have a write option which is a whiteboard for this writing board i am using interactive pen which has two sides one is a thin side one is a thick side i can change the background based on my need or also i can upload any images of uh, like a whiteboard or any any uh, graphical images i can download it and i can upload uh, on the background
Next option we have is pen settings. You can select the color and you can change the size of the pen. Right now I am using a thin pen. On the opposite side I am using a thick pen. In pen, in pen settings I can also erase. One from one side I can write and from the other side I can erase. Or I can simply erase the complete text with the palm. Next option I have is the stroke option. If I am selecting a stroke, the text will be clear. If I am not selecting the stroke, it will be like normal text. After that we have a touch option which is single touch and multi touch. So right now I am using my hand, I can write 5 fingers or 10 fingers or 20 finger touch. I can simply select this area, I can delete it or I can simply, I can select this area or I can copy, I can copy or move. The next we have option is post-in note, it's like a sticky note, you can add any text. can move it or uh, here and there or simply click on close to go. after that we have import picture option we are supporting multiple images uh, you can upload at the same time I can drag the image I can zoom or zoom out I will simply release the image I can upload one more image And click on release so I can also zoom in zoom out the complete display with two touch I will move the complete image to one side the next option we have is the split screen I can split the screen into two or uh, split screens or three split screen so all the interactive Displays will be have an individual screen. Everyone can write on each screen. And all the three images can be saved. Then we have a redo and undo option. Then there is a delete option. Also here we can add multiple uh, pages and you can select whichever you want or you can delete in the between. In the last you can save the images in image format or uh, PDF format or also we are giving an option to share the complete document over an email or through a QR code. A QR code is generated the users can scan it and they can get it in their own devices. Click on home screen to come on the dashboard. Let us now see the connectivity options.